The UFC makes its first trip to Shanghai on Saturday, November 25th exclusively on UFC Fight Pass. MMALandscape.com presents a quick look at the entirety of UFC Fight Night 122 in under 5 minutes. Wooly G. Buren takes on Rolando D in a featherweight matchup. Winner in 4 of his last 5 bouts, Buren kicked off the year with a slam knockout that went viral for its resemblance to that of a WWE style powerbomb. Looking for his first win in the UFC, D has suffered a TKO loss to Alex Caceres and dropped a unanimous decision to Teruto Ishihara back in September. In the women's bantamweight division, Yan and Wu takes on Gina Mazzani. The debuting Wu is riding a two-fight win streak with both wins coming by TKO. Gina Mazzani won her first four professional bouts before being submitted by Sarah McMahon in what was Mazzani's UFC debut. In the heavyweight division, Chase Sherman takes on Shamil Abdurakimov. Sherman snapped a two-fight losing streak in his first two UFC bouts and is now looking to extend his winning streak to three. All but one of his victories have come by way of TKO. Abdurakimov was last seen in the main event of UFC Fight Night Albany almost one year ago. He lost to Derek Lewis by TKO in the fourth round. In the bantamweight division, Pingguan Liu takes on Bharat Kandare. Three of Liu's four submission wins have come by way of armbar. After losing his first professional bout, Kandare went on a five-fight win streak before being submitted by an armbar in the first round. In the women's strawweight division, Kaylin Curran takes on Yan Zaunin. After snapping a two-fight losing streak back in 2015, Curran went on to lose her next three fights. Before Zaunin's last fight was declared a no contest after an accidental headbutt, Zaunin was riding a five-fight win streak with four of those wins coming by TKO. Keenan Song takes on Bobby Nash in a welterweight bout. Song lost a unanimous decision in his last fight roughly one year ago. This snapped a five-fight win streak. Bobby Nash is looking to snap a two-fight losing streak in the UFC. He was finished in the second round in both of those bouts. In the featured prelim, the featherweight division is on display as Zabit Magomed Sharapov takes on Shaman Marais. Magomed Sharapov picked up a performance of the night bonus in his UFC debut at UFC Rotterdam. The debuting Marais is riding a two-fight win streak. His sole loss was back in August of 2015 when he was submitted by Marlon Marias. The main card kicks off with a welterweight matchup between Muslim Salikov and Alex Garcia. Salikov is riding an impressive 10-fight win streak. He last defeated Melvin Gillard back in June via first round spinning hook kick. Alex Garcia picked up a performance bonus for his first round knockout over Mike Pyle back at UFC 207. He's since lost to Tim Means via unanimous decision. Wang Guan makes his UFC debut against the veteran Alex Caceres in the featherweight division. After seeing his 10-fight win streak snapped via unanimous decision back in 2013, Guan has since won his last four bouts. Three of those four bouts are knockouts. Caceres is looking for back-to-back -back wins after the doctor stepped in in his last fight versus Rolando D. Prior to the win, Caceres was submitted by Jason Knight and dropped a split decision to Yaya Rodriguez. Welterweights collide in the co-main event as Li Jingliang takes on Zach Otto. Jing Liang is looking to extend his three-fight win streak. Two of those bouts have come by way of knockout. After seeing a five-fight win streak snapped almost one year ago, Otto picked up a split decision victory in his last fight back in June. In fact, all three of Otto's UFC bouts have ended by split decision. And finally, the middleweight main event features Michael Bisping stepping in on short notice to face Kelvin Gastelum. It will have been only three weeks since Bisping's last bout, where he lost the middleweight championship to GSP in the main event of UFC 217. Prior to that, the Ultimate Fighter Season 3 winner had attained a five-fight win streak, including wins over Anderson Silva, Luke Rockhold, and Dan Henderson. The last time Gastelum was seen in the octagon, he was submitted in a main event contest to Chris Weidman back in July. Prior to that, the Ultimate Fighter 17 winner won three consecutive bouts over Johnny Hendricks, Tim Kennedy, and Vitor Belfort. The Belfour win was overturned to a no contest after Gastelum tested positive for marijuana. And that is your MMALandscape.com rapid fire look into the entirety of UFC Fight Night 122 on November 25th. For a unique look at every upcoming scheduled fight sorted by weight division, check out MMALandscape.com slash UFC.